Vision for the future world. Well, it's really dependent on those who create it. We are creating our world. And so the vision of the future has to do with who are those who are coming together to create it. And the dilemma is that one of the tragedies that I've been seeing for, for too much time is that those who are deeply spiritually grounded, those who are connected and awake, are way too inclined to sit this one out, way too inclined to look for ways to find peace despite what is going on in the world. And I don't think that that's really what we're being called upon to do now. I think that those who are deeply spiritually connected, who are awake, are those who the world needs to come forward and to actually be the ones channeling that which they know inside, channeling that which they experience inside, and using their connection as a channel, to be a channel for awakened action, sacred action, holy action. But that requires everyone coming together. Because tragically, if the only people who are engaged in the nuts and bolts of creating our society are those who have been creating the old normal, then the new normal is going to look exactly the same. And that's why it's so essential to energize, inspire, catalyze, encourage everyone who cares Everyone who sees, everyone who knows, everyone who understands to really come forward in action, con contemplative action, meditative action, prayerful action to co-create that world we need to live in. And if they do, if the action becomes action that is in alignment with knowing, loving, surrendering, giving, caring, then the new world is going to be one that is based upon wisdom, oneness, compassion, sustainability. And that is why we need everyone to come together. Because if the spiritual people of the world decide, I'm just going to sit this one out, I'm just going to sit somewhere and do my meditation because that's what makes me feel peaceful in my vacuum, then the post-corona world is going to look pretty much exactly the way the pre-corona world did, just with a lot fewer people. And that's not the highest calling of the lesson of this virus. That is not why Mother Earth sent us into our rooms. That's not the lesson. The lesson is stand up. This is what Lord Krishna told Arjuna in the Bhagavad Gita. Stand up fearlessly and do your dharma. Act, serve, engage, but never forget Never forget me, never forget God. Never forget that surrender unto me, that connection to me. And that's really the teaching, I think, that, that we need. And the future world is going to be a reflection of the number of people who take this teaching or some variety of it and implement it courageously in their lives, every minute and every moment.